Welcome everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome to Sid's Foodcast. This is a this is a podcast about food and our love for food. If this is your first time in the podcast, and if you think this is interesting, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, and see if you like it, and just say what's up. For today's guest, I have my very good friend, John Tan. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I think I made a mistake a while ago. Like, I wasn't supposed to say what's up, right? <laughs> That's all right. Anything goes in this podcast. Anything goes. Walay yeah. edit tayo nito. <laughs> Walay edit tayo. Yeah, it's it's great. It's great to be here online on Facebook. It's always going to be on YouTube. Oh, we're on YouTube. Yeah, oh. we're, uh, yeah. we're not live though. We're not oh, live. Dude. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> oh, phew. man. Okay, cool. Oh, it's, it's... <laughs> Relax. Okay. Yeah, man. I don't have any problems with getting anyone in this food in this food podcast because this is actually anyone who eats. Well, that's that's the main point. And if you love food, that's 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 the main requirement. <laughs> But tell me, tell the people a little bit about yourself before we kick things off. All right. Um. So I'm John Tang. I uh I used I write uh, I write stories and I contribute as a um, uh, I contribute as a correspondent for Raptor. And right now I'm still I'm still a still a technically a first year going second year uh, communication student. And uh, I, I love, I really love Korean food, like all of that, <laughs> all that. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk Wait, more that's about how that. They one. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a pass? Yo, because I'm Korean. Pass. <laughs> yeah. it's the A word pass. I got the A word pass, man. <laughs> Yao Ming's not Korean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get cancelled. <laughs> we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> oh, okay, but well, anyways, um, I had known John back then a few years ago. Uh, we've, we've been good friends um, in the debate circuit and... You know, we we just tend to hang out a lot also with because of Cebu Lit Fest. With one of my guests, Francis, we we were all together. We would do workshops. We would, po- we would perform on stage, yeah, and all that. So we've been friends ever since. And I always ask well all my guests this question: What was the last meal that you had before this, the before this podcast? For real though, mm, for I real had T- today, I had I had instant ramen, but not I like I bought Korean ramen at Sycamore at that area where it's for the international, you know, international food section because you like in like in kind of markets they they would usually have like an international section and I just picked uh, any cheap ass uh, ramen that. Yeah. That I would find, and so I, I like you know I, I had ramen a while ago. See, it was like a specific. What's in a brand? It's, it's, uh, I, it's like it's like Shin Ramyun, but like the cousin of Shin Ramyun, the <laughs> potato nar, like a potato na ramen. Potato and, ramen, that, that, yeah, yeah, pota- yeah, potato ramen, sweet potato ramen, and it's mm-hmm. really good. Like it's it doesn't have that spiciness, uh, the, the same spiciness. That's, Shin ramyun, but it has that same kick, mm-hmm. so it's still good. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, what I did with the ramen was like, you know, usually you would just put in uh, hot water and then just let it boil all together, mm-hmm. place in the seasoning. I don't do that stuff. I actually have a secret technique as to how I cook my ramen. Okay, so and we're re- revealing secret techniques now. So you go. Yeah, pinagbabawa <laughs> technique number one. <laughs> so yeah, what, what I do with my ramen, um, I basically cook separately the this, this, the seasoning, the sauce, and and the 
and the and the the noodles. So so what I do is like I cook the noodles in like ordinary water, like tap water, for like ten minutes, and then I cook another pot with the sauce and the seasoning. So like I I, I do like three three things at once because while I'm cook boiling the noodles, I also place in like eggs so I can get mm-hmm. like that rich hard boiled eggs so like I put it in the same pot the noodles and the hard boiled eggs and then on the other pot it's the sauce mm-hmm. so I keep the sauce at like uh, medium heat and I keep the noodles and the egg at high heat so it's like it's two different things heating so you, you at like your, different you like your noodles soft yeah I like my noodles soft oh. that's why I like yeah I like it soft you, you're one of those people <laughs> Yes, yes, I am. I am. I am a softy. I Re- would say. Is it in all types of noodles? Do you like soft? Like yes, all noodles. Oh. Especially, okay. Especially my Italian noodles. Oh my like, god. <laughs> oh my god. It's like an. We cannot be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> John likes his noodles really? soft. Even, oh my god! My, I did not I, know that. <laughs> I got the A pass, man. I got the A word pass. So like, <laughs> but for real, for real, like my my pasta, I like it soft too. So like, so yeah, I I got that cooking, and w- when that's done cooking for eight minutes, I I take out the eggs, I put it on, I put it like in a bowl with ice so that it's easier to peel, mm-hmm. and then for the for the noodles, I just like, I just like put it under water, and then like drain it out. I drain it up and then like it's it's just to make sure that the preservatives are gone mm-hmm. uh, all of that oil is going out getting out of the way so it's like it's just the noodles left and then I still got my I still got my pot of sauce that's still cooking and boiling right mm-hmm. so like after after I just drain out the noodles I place it there I just put it in the pot where meat where it's medium heat and the sauce is cooking mm-hmm. and then I just you know stir it around stir it around stir it around and then you know it's good cooking for like 15 minutes because the first 10 minutes I'm cooking the noodles and the you know uh, for the sauce it's cooking for 15 minutes so it's like it's all proportional and it's cooking at the same time and it's working at the same time so I love it I love that synergy that I always focus on <laughs> that's the technique number one. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, it's completely opposite, and uh, not really, but um, for my noodles, I re- like it al dente, like all types of noodles, whether it's ramen, whether it's pancit canton, or ramyun, al dente is to go for me. I like that bite. I don't, I don't like my noodles soggy. Okay, uh, I like that that there's there's a little bit of bounce to it, and then ako sa dang noodles. True. said same said na I don't cook it with the sauce first. I cook. I boil my. Actually, I boil the water first. I do not boil it with the noodles. If the if the if the water is boiling, that's when I put my noodles, and it's only there for two minutes, three minutes max. because I really want it to be al dente, and then it, as soon as I put the noodles, that's all. That's when I also put the seasoning and all that one. Then. Another thing, I do not like hard boiled eggs with my noodles. I like soft boiled. What? Oh, I like soft boiled eggs. Really? <laughs> oh. Egg, oh, you egg. like the noodles hard, but you like your eggs egg soft. soft. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Weird, because it's, so, it's like you have something that's really rough. Uh, I mean, I mean, not really rough, hard. <laughs> and it. It's like melting, man. Because mm, I like the runny yolk. I like the runny uh, yolk with my noodles. And I can't uh, have that if it's hard-boiled eggs. Right? Oh, that's true. Uh, that's true. So I, I, I like it soft-boiled. Yeah. I, I always ask this one because, again, going back from the very first episode, I, I talked about how food is the very one of the, uh, one of the big things that we can associate it with personality. Or we can always associate with it with, with the memory, you know. That's just one of the m- most amazing things with with food. We can always associate uh, memories with songs or with items. But food, for me, I guess like just generally for me, 
is always one thing that you could always connect to a happy memory or like a certain vibe like or maybe even a personality of it but <laughs> that's just one of the few acts being a student you know ramen or ramen is always a go-to and i think that's where i would go off for this discussion um being a student then and say mga usually obviously no kanang you don't have a lot of money because you're a student you're not working yet or even if you're working part time you don't have that luxury of eating out a lot diba right? so what what, what are usually your go to places let's say if you want to if you want to save up just being tipid as a man you being in san carlos let's just let's just start off from there and so may mga kanang kanang mga go to places for a student na lang student survival guide for eating oh well, for, for me like when i was still in san carlos for that one year in accountancy i was like i was so lost because the cookooks i mean like this I forgot. Was it Cuckoo's Nest? Or... Cuckoo's Nest. Oh wait, uh-huh. Cuckoo's Nest is the bar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's Cuckoo's Nook. Yeah, Cuckoo's Nook. The the canteen in main campus is like they they have this uh, a variety of food that you can just buy for like around thirty to seventy five pesos. And for me, it's like I always pick shawarma because seventy five uh, mm-hmm. might be too much, but like pretty worth it. Considering that it would be my brunch, because I I don't eat breakfast and I usually I kind of eat dinner at home, or if I'm too lazy, I just eat dinner eating street food. But yeah, um, for brunch I eat like shawarma, like the shawarma rice. Mm-mm. Well, then when I was a USC student, um, but yeah, um, it's either it's either the shawarma rice. Or or the hamburgers they have, and they they have these special hamburgers for like twenty five pesos. Oh man, it was still mm. yeah for twenty five pesos uh, special hamburger, and you could even go out and there's this Angel's Burger that you can pay thirty five pesos for, and it's buy one take one. So like mm. for me, my usual diet in the morning was either rice or burgers, which is pretty cool. I mean it's. And it's not just pangtawid gutom, no. It's, it's not really just like just, I just uh, need to eat. It's still it's cheap, but let me get up on, ne ba? Yeah, true. That's <laughs> mm. true. And it, it I, really tastes good. And I think shawarma for me, just is like one of the things na it's cheap. You can get it from for fifty pesos or seventy five pesos. Pero busog ba busog? Definitely. Yeah. Hmm. De ba? Napajoy kanang drink apila ang drinks sa 75 so it's like really cool because you know they they prepare combo meals for students like us mm. but, you know USC knowing USC it's like it's a rich kid school mm-hmm. and it like CD youths like Velas you know mm-hmm. rich kid schools have rich kid canteens but you move over to USJR which is where I'm studying right now and it's like whoa I'm in the markets. I'm in Carbon. So like, I just upgraded my domain of eating food. You have a <laughs> like, wide array of choices. Yeah. It's a main campus. <laughs> <laughs> I can choose anything I want to, man, and it's so cool because um, just beside USJR Main is like this, this, it's like this wonderland of food, and. If you've seen travel like the night market, it's like grabe. Everywhere you go, there's a different assortment of food. You can you can buy um, you can buy desserts, really weird delicacies like you know that ube that they would top with cheese. Ah, uh, puto uh, bong bong. Puto yes, bong puto bong bong. <laughs> and I would always buy puto bong bong for breakfast because it's like <laughs> grab it, it's like eating piaya but but taho version of a piaya hmm. and taho I always buy taho for the mornings Uh-oh. because it's like it's like having a coffee it's like having coffee mm-hmm. and both meal at the same time yeah, you got that but, kick in the morning it's yeah the syrup great set. kick in the morning mm-hmm. and of course there's there's this really nice canteen 
in USJR that's outside the school and it's very cheap and they they sell the special ngoyongs mm-hmm. and you know how kids are with ngoyong it's like it's it's so cheap it's like 10 pesos one one ngoyong one really long ass ngoyong and then you get rice for 5 pesos 15 pesos and that's already a big enough meal considering you've got the you know the really delicious cost and I never figured out how they made that sauce, but I do know for one, it's it's some really crazy stuff going in that pot. Yeah, uh, oh, this is a little bit of story time. Uh, this is really true in in USJR Maine. You have carbon. You, you you really have all the options there for cheap eats that are good. Of course, mobile is ka somewhere that's a little bit sanitary, but I think for the most part they keep things clean. Despite being a wet market, but oh, um, for me, I was I remember when I was still uh, in USJR Maine. Um, I just arrived from Manila, and then actually I didn't even know the school USJR before I enrolled like two weeks back, like two, just two <laughs> weeks before I enrolled. Like, because when I when I arrived from Manila uh, from from Manila, I only know San Carlos. I know Sibudok, I know Veles, and uh, UC and UV. I think that that's about it. I've never heard USJR <laughs> before I enrolled. No, I'll let you. Uh, but it's because um, I when I arrived in Cebu, in Cebu, I didn't have all the requirements for me, and I think I'm still a little bit grateful for USJR. Um, I didn't have like the T O R and all that stuff. That's the things that you need to that you need, yeah, that yeah. are required to transfer. Um, so USC, I, the first choice was Cibodoc because I studied psychology in Manila, so I wanted to continue psychology in Cibodoc. They rejected me because I was lacking requirements. Uh, mm. I went to San Carlos. They rejected me because I was lacking requirements. That was, again, this is Juana. I transferred like last week of May. So imagine like only a few weeks for enrollment. So nangita jud nangita jud mix school. I even it came even even it even came to the point na or did na ako maskwila that sem okay. I didn't have the requirements. So I I went to UC they didn't accept me. Ah no, UV they didn't accept me. UC, uh, they were iffy about it. They didn't really disclose na oh you can enroll or not. So like we'll see. But then in USJR, um, what happened was a faculty vouched for me. You know how they vouch na this person will give you said documents within the the semester. So yeah, like, was it like a teacher you knew? Uh, it was a teacher that my family knew. So ah. And and I think I'm not sure with other schools if nasa ring an option. But USJR had that option. Na so, yeah, somebody like he does not have the requirements right now, but said professor uh, will vouch for me. Na he will give his requirements during the semester. And then so USJR allowed me to enroll, even if I only had an online copy of my grades and a birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I should have done that, man. I had a lot of senior high school teachers, man. <laughs> oh, ingada lang in the ingato de te to mo. And as in, like during that time, I did not know what. I'm sorry, I did not know what USJR was. I've never heard of that school. And then when I arrived in in USJR main campus, uh, it's a yeah. big shock because. Um, sa Manila, okay. you're used to having very big campus and very big campuses and the campus and the school that uh, I studied back then it was really really big but I never heard uh, this is the thing with US, with USJR but I never heard of classes that you had to transfer from one campus to another like it was it was a totally new concept for me and in USJR, you have to travel for PE classes to yes, a different campus. Is... 
for 7 a.m. <laughs> I've never heard of that concept at all. And I enrolled one class. Okay, this is what uh, I, I enrolled in USJR uh, as an international um, study student. So IS school for one semester. And I, ne- oh, I studied IS for one semester. And then so now I'm on the main campus, right? Uh-huh. And then I won't worry about anything. So I just enrolled whatever it is to pay that I'm enrolled. You know, English to uh, Filipino, all that, all that shit. So I enrolled political science one, and then the room says B four O something, and then it says building S E something something. Like I don't know the no one oriented me, I believe no no one oriented me about the buildings and all that one during enrollment. <laughs> all of my subjects, I don't have PE at all. All of my subjects are in main campus except for my political science. And I am an Yo. I I am an IS student. IS student ko ha. It means I need to have that main source of knowledge from political science. Okay. Dip- diplomacy man, so main ko na. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ang problem is when I enrolled in Paul Saiwan, na enroll ko dito sa Basak. And my stu- my classmates were all fourth year IT students. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and kamo ka, one ato na kong professor. Since you're not Paul size students, we'll just discuss the minimum. <laughs> oh my god! Yung ini ka abot na ko, ini ka abot na ko sa ko major sa IS was I forgot unsa to basa na ko major to na IS. Mana uh-huh. din sila. You already learned this in policy one, so I'll just recite this is in that. Ni ako mga kaoba ako ng IS, kebaw na sila dayon. Ni ako nga nga kay ko. I did not learn anything in my policy one. <laughs> ako mga kaoba ato. I don't even was sa kabasya ko sila Marcini ato. Wala na lang dito na. Okay, so please ke about citizenship, blah blah blah, and then ano sila. Oh, you already learned this uh, this concept of let's say jurisprudence in policy. So let's just continue. Oh, what you get? Oh my god, I was so out of place. Out of first year student transferred from Manila, eight years ko naglive sa Manila, and ako dito all alone. I don't know anyone, and I don't know where to eat. I don't know where to hang out. I don't. I don't have any friends. People know me. I don't know their names. People know me by name as that one person from Manila. And then I don't have a usually in first year ka namo juke like barkada since you're block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. block. Okay, kwan ba ko irregular ko. I don't know anyone. No, maka maka relate juko ana do. Like when I transferred, when I transferred, ako mga kaubad for mga first years. May ana lang kay kay lazal ako gamay pero <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ajud. And then going, and then my only refuge, Ajud, is Ngoyong. Ngoyong sa main campus. That. As in, like, if there's one. There's a lot of things that I don't like sa main campus. Generally, I did not like the main campus so much that I transferred to a different course. Mangutan ako mga education classmates. Nga nung ni-transfer ka from IS to to education. Usara jud ako answer. Because I did not like the main campus. Yeah. Usara jud ako. I'm sorry for people na listening to USJR. You can cancel me. I don't care. But I do not like the main campus. The main... Okay, the main crux or na, na, na decide ko na I had to transfer when I took my re-ed class. In the second floor, I think second floor. Bilang re-ed. Oh. Oh, second floor. And then, when the bell rang, if if people could imagine, ha, the rooms at inatbang era ng rooms inatbang oh, era. Okay. And then when the when the bell would ring, ah, more like swarm of students. Ambut mo na kag nasa concert. Dagan kik studente dito na magsikit sikit ulit to para makagawas so, para mat- Oh my god. And dili jud ko well, na, na shock jud ko ana na na ko anjud kay sa there is a Manila sa Manila kay as in like different buildings dako kayo and then oh, hallways diba? 
Huh? Oh, the hallways and all that. Oh, like who are I don't, I don't have any friends. Asama mo ko mutambay. Asama, I, I don't know where to go. You know, irig pa jud ko dagko kaya ko mga spaces sa kung classes. <laughs> and then this kid oh, from Manila nag no, 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 listen pag bisaya. <laughs> and Ngoyong was there for me. Ngoyong was there for me. <laughs> and Ngoyong specifically outside sa school. It came to the point na did like five times a week pag Ngoyong ko. Ingana. Ingana siya. Five times? <laughs> Ay, also? Oh, oh, five times a week. Like, this ang classy. Because mato ko sa carbon. And then, ma- sa carbon, mag- you would always see na flowers and all that. You wouldn't see a lot of food. You have to go inside sa carbon. Para oh. food, di ba? You would go outside. Flowers or vegetables, rin mo makitaan. So, mo explore pa dito ka. Ako, so, so dilikay ko kuha na ito. So, neto na ako dito dito. Basta ni Mulabang ka, near sa Visayan. And then, you just go straight. Na yung mag-photocopy. And then, you turn right. There's a little bit of mga, dito mga kalenderiya. And there's always th- that there's chicken and ngoyong place and that concept kanong the chicken and ngoyong place di ba daghan makin sa Cebu daghan kayo daghan kayo I was amazed by that 15 what? peso chicken first year ko Kyoto? oh there was no such thing as that in Manila <laughs> really not even tondo huh not even tondo or chapo I, I don't know I've never been in that kuan kaning ana but Ay, just ing ana na concept na 15 siguro karo na ana but karong 15 peso chicken and ngoyong <laughs> I was amazed so siguro kung kaon ana din <laughs> so cheap Lahiman eats ang just concept sa kaayo sa sa Manila because I've been watching a few travel shows kana mga food travel shows ba and mostly ang sa Manila gyud especially sa yeah sa my tondo kaya po it's like barb Oh, here, barbecue. barbecue definitely there. lots lots barbecue always, isaw there's always barbecue there's mm. isaw yeah yeah mm. isaw betamax mm. a lot definitely definitely Stuff a lot like that mm. but quite i'm gonna know you can chicken it's though like, Wala it's like chicken there's there's a pot everywhere that's cooking there's a walk everywhere <laughs> cooking chicken mm. See, uh, well, I'm good enough, and i don't appreciate the girl on carbon when i was there but Being in Basak, it was just way better for me at that time. It's mas mahangin, no one was there. Don't people don't really care if you mahigda ka dito sa kwan. <laughs> Saint Ezekiel third floor dito sa table kay katulugan ka. <laughs> But truth be told, Basak campus has really changed after you know after they renovated the buildings mm. and they had that uh, La Salud building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for senior high, de ba? They now have like. A wide array of like food in the canteen, and like the canteen looks like it's triple decked. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, three floor. Really? Three floor. Oh my god. Yeah, three floor food. Like how? How? They, <laughs> But, I, I like, think it's because the influx of senior high students. Yeah, that's. True. There's tato. a lot of senior high, then junior high also eat there. Then up the college, never. But the college eat outside, so my Tita uh, Pinks. Tita Pinks. Shout out to Tita Pinks. Uh-huh. Shout out to Tita Pinks. Sponsor us. <laughs> Sponsor us. That's in. We're in that on cheap eats the discussion. Um, what what else would you categorize as cheap eats for students? I uh, one thing on top of my head, Jude, is show my with rice. Show my rice. Show my rice, you know. Mm. Show my rice. <laughs> But show my rice you know, in in Manila is different, kay na ay um say tao uh, na. What do you call that one? Oh, I forgot the. Oh, what's that? I for. Oh, Sichuan. Dili dili kanang kwan siya famous siya na dagang kaya siya mga kanang fried dishes and then ang rice kay lamig ka yung mga yang chow rice lamig ka. But ato ang magod when you say show my rice, it's Take three pesos na show my oh god. Yeah. Or look show. Puso. Oh my usa ka tapos nga kuan puso or puso oh puso. Oh that Mo, that like I think after like for lunch kay last sem like my before lunch I after lunch is PE. So sakto kayo nga going from basta I going from main campus to basta mon motor bangko. So it's like super kapoy, super init. Pag abot kay, there's always this kanang murag 
tricycad nga stall gani oh, oh. magbalik yo Shomai and it's the bomb mm. like lamik jud kayo ang Shomai lamik kayo so bad and funny <laughs> funny budget <laughs> anak kay you think makatipid ka no kay like tik three pesos sa gud Shomai pwede mo kabantay na gud ka kao bitaw ko na Oh, wait, the choppy coffee. You say that again? Yeah, so like you, you would just palit lang yung kampalit because like blame mong good din ako magihap ba? Hindi mo kabante ka after yung kaw ka eighty pesos more sa more sa tablar sa di kaw ka kan sa kantin. I lost like, you again. Sige, yeah, go. so like go. yeah, so like for gule, there's really no use. For saving, if you're eating <laughs> shomai rice, kay mahuro ka magiti mo kwarta kay lamig ka yun. Hindi eat ka ng shomai sa at I don't know kung katong ng senior high ka. Dito sa gawas sa basak or dito sa likod. Ako ay senior high. They have this really weird rule where you can't go out. So like, dili dili ka gawas. Pero na na yung shomai yan sa gawas to pa. Sa atbang sa. That's near kuan. Hmm. At bang 7-Eleven, no? Like, that, that dude is always there. Oh. Mm-hmm. There's always that one guy in front of Alberto's... Vitao. In front of... Kanang, basta, magbalik niya rin siya. Tugi na siya. Tugi na siya. Tugi na When I was still in college. Nakabuto ka niya? Oh! Oh my God. Tugi na lang siya. First year? First year. Yeah, he was always there. Yo! Mm. So that was like 2011. Just go. Mm. We're 2020. That's like nine years, ten years. Mm-hmm. Sir, so ten years, years of Shomai rice serving the Hostenian uh, students. <laughs> Pero like very difficult situation karon because of oh, because CQ of the whole, yeah the whole COVID thing. Yeah, that's really crazy, man. Mm-hmm. And going back on uh, like of uh, Shomai rice, what am I going to like? Um, what else would you kind of? Probably, yung kanang appeal sa survival guide for cheap eats for students. Usaha for like ten pesos mo palit ko kanang pan hot cake ganit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> kanang yellow kaya ng hot cake mm. niya, but niya asokal alam niya. Eh. <laughs> I, d- I don't know how like, they got that e- really strong yellow flavor. Margarine man? Murag niya. Mm. Super ano butter. <laughs> It's good Butter, though. Diba? It's really good. It's really good. Love it, love it. Oh. Really love it, yeah. Sige. Ano yung ganon? Ube version. Na ube version. Na ah sa sa kwan kilit kilit sa carbon. Love it kayo. Kaya 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 kaya. Um. Um. Uh, since we talked about USJR, let's talk about canteen food. Ano lang. Canteen. Unsa man mga ganahan? Like all time fave or like a like an experience that you you like the most? Steam. Fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> it never goes away, man. And it's just thirty nine pesos. Rice topped with kanang a little bit of meat, na ay kanang bean. Yeah, like like okay na kaya na. More ako gasabaw o rice in one. Hmm. Um. Kani, this is a recurring theme jud sa ko ang all of my on all of my podcasts. Na magmento jud ko about dim sum break and about steam rice, like. Again, I'm not gonna stop saying it. Dim Sum Break is the best restaurant, best fast food restaurant for sure, in, for sure. in in Cebu for sure. Yeah, bar none. True. Fight me on that. Tell me better. It's better than anything, fast food wise. <laughs> fast food wise, right? Uh, I mean. For for Chinese food, it's they they started. They're really the OG mm-hmm. in Cebu, and mm-hmm. kanang it's it's my childhood. It's like for real though. Like dim sum really is my childhood because like my mom would always take me to dim sum after every kanang after school when she would pick me up. And she don't she doesn't usually pick me up, but when she does, she always brings me to dim sum oh because, because she knows that I love dim sum. I love dim sum. Like, Yeah, it's like it brings back so much memories, Kayo. and it's like the only only place where I got to learn how to use chopsticks. Oh, dude, same. That's the first. Yeah, that's the place was, that I like, learned that's chopsticks. The place to learn chopsticks. The, the only place to train yourself to eat chops. To eat with chopsticks. Chopsticks. Eat with chopsticks. <laughs> and kanang, 
Kanang nami kayo ang quail egg. Pitaw. Oh my god. Show me with quail eggs. Insert. Oh my god. And then like I I for the first time in my entire life, I never thought that I could eat steam rice with chopsticks. <laughs> I don't know. Almost ran ako episode. The mention of just ako dim sum break, and I'm not gonna stop. I'm not hating it. Dim sum break, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like let me be the, like, they, there's, there's a dim sum break in Park Mall. I'm I'm staying in Mandawi right now, mm-hmm. and I would never, I would never not pass by dim sum mm-hmm. just to check if they're selling stuff. And they, so good. Can you and the um, thing about dim sum break, guy? Since I was a kid until now, imagine, huh? Imagine six years old, ko. Let's say I was like, there was a year two thousand one, two thousand two, something like that. Until two thousand, oh, when the last time I tried dim sum break was like, like last year, two thousand nineteen. It's still the quality is still so good. Never changed. Lummi the show might never change. Let me get up on the steam rice. The show my of course the prices will have to catch up. But I, re- I remember the show my I know show my I don't the show my price was seventy pesos. Nine mm-hmm. nine Show my was twenty five pesos. Yeah. And the show my and the show my of the seventy pesos quality still still really good. Nana jud ba? Makilak jud ko for for dim sum break. Okay, so sponsor. It's inflation, man. <laughs> they it's should have like a, like a yeah. commercial, I know, like from kid. Dim sum break, where you first learn chopsticks. <laughs> that should be the tagline. They should pay us for that tagline. Remember, <laughs> 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 like, you you would, I would always, for for real though, like I I'm gonna have to be real, like really honest. I also used to go to dim, dim sum break a lot, and I, I really loved going to dim sum break a lot because the chef there was just so nice. And Is there a specific chef? chef? There, a specific place? Yeah, there. Asa man dim sum break. Sa dim sum diha sa kaning where majestic is now mm-hmm. in Ayala. I mean, S M S M, and there was this really pretty chef <laughs> who was a close friend of my mom, and I had like a big crush on this woman. I don't know who she is. I don't know how old she is. I don't know. She was just really pretty, and you know, she's like, uh, like, I for one know that she's a crazy rich Asian, <laughs> because if you cook in dim sum, you paid a lot. <laughs> you paid a lot. <laughs> you get paid a lot. You should because it's so good. Cook. It's so good, and you keep that you keep that consistency of taste for years. You get paid bucks, man. You get paid billions. <laughs> I mean, if there's anyone who deserves to be a millionaire, it's that woman. And <laughs> I would say she it's my mom's cook. Okay. <laughs> like. She, she would beat my mom's cooking any day. <laughs> no, but uh, I want to go to that subject now, specifically, kana um, dating. When you're a student, it's different. Especially when you're when you're when you're working, you have the money. Um, yeah. You, you you can afford, diba? But it's just for you as 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 a person as well known to USJR, you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, tips on dating, especially as you you as a student. As a student. Oh, as a student. Oh. Obviously, you like, you went out with a few for a few dates. I would assume. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> as someone yeah. usually, kanong, kanong, well, different story but for a rich kid or like kanong one. But let's say just for the regular student, na they want to bring their boyfriend or their girlfriend or their r- situationship or their one, their MU. As someone usually, yung, yeah. I, what are the tips first? Ano? For 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 me, la no, it's like it, when you're dating someone as a student, and like you don't have enough money, so you really have. You you don't have to push 
yourself too hard on the on the wallet. <laughs> or, you know, you you don't have to exhaust your wallet and everything. Ako mango like I I'm a kid that goes out to look for gigs. I mean, you know that mm-hmm. we we did gigs for Shibulit Fest, we did workshops, and sometimes we get paid. And then I I also did like other stuff, other gigs at other places, and I get paid. And I'd be able to spend, but like I was lucky enough to be able to go on a few dates with some of the great, like some of the greatest people who are still like some of my friends right now. And it's like you you go on a date just eating barbecue or like kanang it's la like, there was this really one magical date I had with this this really special person. Not gonna name her. She's. She's she'll know. Now. She'll know. <laughs> She's happy now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I we were date. We were we went on a date. Just we we were like kanang gala gala. We were just like kanang shorts and like kanang loose t-shirt. You know, it was a casual we're, date. Kanang, not a casual date. Like mm. a bunch of kids like going out to eat, and we were just not only a night market, and it's As like kanang sa market. Market. Like the Carbon Night Market is like the old shots, uh, 138. Magiana ni mo every night, and it's usually at pang sa metro. It's every night, and what the, the, the variety of food you get there and find there is like going, it's like eating at a carnival mm-hmm. or eating at SRPs, kanang, you know, kananan, or yeah. So, yeah, we had a few great dates there eating kanang sa, there's like tusdobua sa. Pasil and like kana, that's like one of my mem- most memorable dates where I would just laugh with this person, and it really didn't matter to me kanang what we did, basta we were just together and lame man sa dang like to subuwa. so like in fairness it was really fun, mm-hmm. and then there are other dates too like like this one girl who's super religious, super religious so. We we went to church, Koan uh, Basilica, and then afterwards we went to Freedom Park, and it's super near, it's super near. <laughs> what date to the church? <laughs> yeah, like you know, some some students do that actually, and I was I was culture shock actually culture shock po, because coming from Mandawi City Science High School, we were science high kids. Uh, there weren't near churches. Um, mm-hmm. I I didn't really go on dates then because I was still a high school student, a junior high school student, and I was pretty awkward around girls. It was only in senior high and in college you where get to get I was your groove able, on. <laughs> yeah, I got my groove on. Getting, you know, I, I started dressing well, naman mm-hmm. said. Like I started like tidying up myself. Mm-hmm. So maybe I started like looking somewhat attractive, human. <laughs> 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 so yeah, like, you know, we, the, there was that. Ito, ito. Um, so, so Basilica, we had like, yeah, you know, that's where I found my love for Putu Bongbong. It was probably because of mm. that person that I found my love for Putu Bongbong. I have to thank her. For Shout that. out to that person. You you Shout know it's you. <laughs> you know you know it's you. You made me love Putu Bongbong, <laughs> and you made me love a bunch of other things. Oh, no. ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look at cheesy stuff. Okay, so, there you go. There's this, the bus Freedom Park. I like, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, right there at Freedom Park. Freedom Park, ba tawag sa Basilic? Oh. Ah, in the Plaza Independencia. Plaza Independencia. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Plaza Independencia. Yeah, pero recently mango they they started putting up stalls, labi nagika and sinulog and mm-hmm. like. Yeah, definitely. Daghan, okay. daghan, really. Mm-hmm. Um, ako ato. Um, last year, I was covering a story there, uh, sa, Div- sa Devotee City, and I got really hungry, and then I remembered, oi, there's food at Freedom Park, and then going back to Freedom Park, eating there, kanang mais con yellow, mm-hmm. kanang barbecue, kanang mga tater tots, na sila tater tots ito, like oh. show kayo. Oh, so shout out to tater tots. Tater tots, tater tots, tater pero like, you, you know stuff like going dates na mga dates dito the most memorable dates are the ones good nga you don't remember for the how much you got to or what kind of food you're eating but really ka nang, the memories you made with the people you definitely, went with definitely most definitely Just like puto bong bong. you can relate it to that one person and yeah. like, you know and going to church just like <laughs> yeah and eating the, my and, puto bong bong. and ako as a student 
Siguro. I think that would apply if it's somebody na you're really close na kana mag dating ka. But different magod ka ng, Let's say if this is your very first date, you don't know this person really well. There is really a tendency to, ko ano to, to impress, obviously. Um, yeah, that's true. And then, some people would really go out of their way, but um, go dine in in a, kwan, in a very let's say kanang medyo, kanang expensive na restaurant, ana. Uh, have you had like that sort of experience? Now you had to break. Your bank just to impress this person. Mm, no, not really. Pero there was this person wherein I would gastle a lot for because because of just how much I really wanted to not really impress this person, but because how much I felt like she like she deserved it. Because mm. she was really simple. She was so kind. She was so caring. So I felt like you know what. You deserve a date in a five-star restaurant. So uh, okay, so as someone who's been okay, so all time you being a student because you're still a student now. As someone who's been expensive restaurant, ang imo na na ko na doan on a date. The port. The port that's in Kono Shangri-La. No, no waterfront. Water, waterfront. Waterfront. Yeah. The the buffet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's like 1,000 per head, diba? Right? 1,000? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, I paid for both of us. Like, I even paid for kanang koan, a cake. Oh, is it a birthday? Is it a special si- koan? Kind of a special occasion? So I just, I just took her on a date because she was really one of the most, like, I have a lot of special people in my life. <laughs> this is a Pero, like, <laughs> this is a trend. Yeah. Special people. This is shout out there. <laughs> special people, shout out to you guys. But yeah, um, really, what was kanang the most the the most memorable one really was kanang the the Melton's. I uh, uh, Melton's halo halo. Melton's good. Melton's halo halo. Melton is good. In, Yeah, really good, really good. Mm-hmm. Melton's Halo Halo in Pardo, and I would always remember this one person for Melton's Halo Halo. Um, we don't talk anymore. Um, yeah, she's pretty happy. I'm pr- I'm pr- pretty proud of her. I I don't talk about her anymore, but like, yeah, that place gives me a lot of memories. And if I go back there, it's just gonna, it's really, it's it's not gonna make me sad. It's just it's really happy, going to. You're glad that it happened. Yeah, I'm glad it happened. Mm-hmm. Plus, plus the Melton's ice cream man said is like a memory I have with my mom said. So like, it's a double, mm-hmm. it's a double win mm-hmm. still. Plus, it's barato. Barato, so, so barato. And then I tried it. It's re- it's definitely. Katong karmer ko tong first time na I go sa Melton's. Like hype kayo, but it lived up to the hype. It lived up to the hype. It really lived up mm-hmm. to the hype. But I guess like not knocking off with with Melton's, but. Kwanjun ko. Uh, I'm a fan of Rezons. Rezons ko. Mm. Have you tried Rezons halo halo? Kanang, I think it's. I don't know if it's still Rezons now. I think lahi ng name tawagan araw araw masagana. Na? Mm, I'm not sure ko na. Basa basa Rezons restaurant of Gua Gua. I know na 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 sa seaside. Wala pa ko ka suwe. Yeah. And. Uh, can you give a few tips for people now dating on a budget? Okay, so you talked about eating on a budget as a student. How about dating? I know for you talked mm. about not breaking your bank, but what else? What else can you advise people? Um, if you really want to spend, like spend, spend for your special someone, but not spend too much, you should try buffets, like Korean buffets. Mm-mm. I mean, right now there are Korean buffets that are worth around 350. Um, so if two of you are paying 350, 350, that's like 700. That's not too painful, Mm-mm. especially if you're if you're good at saving. But if you really want to save, and you think that you want to eat more, also, yeah, just go to food parks, 
that are around Cebu. There's like a variety of food bitaw, stores. Bitaw. Larshan is mm. number one. Well, they recently had a big cleanup, and right now it's way clean. It's mm-hmm. cleaner than before, and a lot delicious. Like a lot of the food there is delicious. Um, me and Danny, we would usually just go out anywhere looking for food. Me and Danny would just like uh, we would have our own food trips because we were, yeah, we weren't looking to be around women. Uh, we 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 kind of stuck to the rule. It's bros before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can, yeah, we can, like, you know, uh-huh, you get what definitely. I mean. Okay. You, always mm-hmm. have, you always have your bro with you mm-hmm. who's been there with you through thick and thin. So it's just usually you guys. And you would just go find these new places and eat there. Mm. For me, I was really lucky because I was able to meet this one person. Aside from Danny, there's this person named Raniel. And he showed me this place called. Um, La, la, basta, it's it's like a Mexican place, very barato their burritos, also good. It's like worth seventy five pesos for a good ass burrito that has like a lot of filling. Oh, and then there's this thirty five pesos horchata, horchata <laughs> like you know that uh, rice rice wine mm-hmm. that's kind of like milk that tastes really good. It's it's really good. So like, <laughs> yeah, there there are these unknown places that Mito. you have to find in Cebu. And you just check them out, like, mm. like just try them out, and they're really cheap. Mm. And if you really wanna go for cheap, cheap, mm-hmm. then there's always chicken proven. Vito, <laughs> and it goes to show now dates usually it's food is a factor. And if you talk about dates na eating ha, food is always a factor. But um, just knowing how to do conversations and. Um, just, just being, and just enjoying the company of another the person. Moment, jenang the, the most important thing. Here's what I, uh, here's what I learned. Kanang finally reaching college and being able to go out on my own. Um, the best dates are usually the ones at home. Mm-hmm. And you just you cook and mm-hmm. yeah, you mm-hmm. you bring you buy groceries, you cook for the person, and I think that's. That's the sweetest thing you can do for anyone. Oh, true that, like, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're putting your heart into the food. So Ito. like, but it's like, ako, I started learning cooking around 2014. I never realized that I could cook for someone. Mm-hmm. When I started, like, I only found out when like I, I brought some kind of homemade, uh, like homemade chicken afritada for like you know just something I can I don't usually cook because I'm usually busy mm-hmm. but I was able to cook at that time I was able to bring chicken afritada to school and then there was this classmate who told me that I cook really good so I tried I tried maybe one date you know just spontaneous date and we couldn't go anywhere because bam it was suddenly ECQ mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so yeah I, I uh, tried cooking yeah that's one again that's one major tip for students um, okay like obviously kind of students or dating don't make dating the priority okay <laughs> study first but yeah for students who are dating yeah cooking and then just food parks that's one good tip food parks a lot of food cheap e- eats very affordable and then a variety is there okay food parks All definitely right. street food something that people really enjoy um, and if you have to go, and then of course, maybe if it's a, it's a special occasion, a sit down dinner is gone. Do you have any tips for sit down dates? Like maybe it's a, an oh. anniversary. I know. If, if we're talking anniversary, and because for me, an anniversary is like a really special stuff. Mm-mm. That's what I think. Uh, based on what I'm hearing from people, I mean, you're supposed to treat an anniversary special, mm-hmm. of course, but. Again, for me, I I know some would a lot maybe a lot of people would agree that some dates, some some and, and relationships especially are best kept private or at home. Mm-hmm. You know, so again we go back to just cooking at home mm-hmm. and just being with that person for you the know. whole day. Oh, that, that's a good just, idea. You know, you know? anniversaries, cook for your special someone. I don't know. 
Because eventually, eventually, that's what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. Mm, definitely. Well, if, if you are, you know, if if that's the thing that you're into, <laughs> um, and I I guess like just to add on that one, um, especially if you're a student, you know, there's no problem with Kwan. go go have seats, split split the bill, you know. Yeah. Oh, or. Sabi, magsabot mo, like, okay, you go first, and then ako bala the next one, the next day. That's one good tip. Okay? It's a boss move oh. to, like, it's a boss move to pay, but it's a boss move to acknowledge that the person who's with you can also pay. Oh, and then, ako, uh, siguro, my hmm. rule, ano yan, if there was no discussion, if there was no discussion of who gets to pay, okay, um, There's there's a lot of ways to go around this. Ako, a general rule is kung kinsay na if if that if who if kung person na nag ask on a date, I would assume na siya magpay. Nga na like, example like if that person asked me on a date, the first assumption would be siya ang mubay mo mubayan because siya man ask hmm. or courtesy. Oh, because ako lang assumption na mag kung wala j wala j sabot iba um, I would assume na siya magkuan because siya man nag-ask on a date second assumption if that doesn't fall short prepare to go Dutch you know go have seas and that should be ako I believe that should be the norm um a second assumption uh, the second thing would be talk before you go to on a date I know it's an if it's a it's a it's a difficult discussion maybe, especially if you wanna, if it's a first date or if it's something someone that you don't really know, um, or maybe let's say kanang kanang nak try pa impress another person, discuss lang like oh I I wanna koan I wanna pay for the first date is that okay ngana ba, na like if there's a prior discussion, before the date, that that would be really helpful, ano. And if wala if kana if that doesn't go through, to pr- go on prepare to go fifty fifty jud because students pa man mo you're not earning your own like, I'm just assuming that you're not earning your own one yeah yeah m- your own money m- you're using your parents money <laughs> for that one That's so go on ana res- respect na lang ba ana and then you can splurge and all that one as days go by or as uh, uh, with the other dates but a discussion with that one is a healthy discussion about who gets to pay do we go have C's or you get to pay first or ako mo, ako ba, like you see you pay for the meal ako bala sa dessert like that one yeah. like, especially okay, especially because you, you guys are still students I think that for me is another thing that students can get to keep in mind you know and um Like, what do you think about like? There's like this gender stereotype where, uh, you know, the the guy always has to pay. That's what some, uh, you know, uh, I'm not saying not everyone, like everyone believes it to be, but um, there's this belief that guys have to pay. For me personally, I think like um, that, that that that's not the case. It should be again like what you said. It should be whoever asks has the common courtesy to at least. Pay for it or go have seas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess so. And I'm not manj- ako, I, I also believe that one. I, I know some people still believe in that case that men should have to pay, men should have to provide, and, and that's a little bit outdated. But uh, uh, ako, uh, for for me, if you're talking about me, yeah, the person who asks should at least have the common courtesy to pay, or yeah, yeah. if you can't talk before the date. Anak na lang. Talk. Mm. Okay. Always communicate. Oh. That's what's important in relationships nowadays. Mm-mm. Talk before the date. It's not. I know it can be awkward, but talk about it. Like, um, you you know what? Um, I I'll, I got you for the meal, you know. But you have to pay ice cream later. Like like anak na lang ba? That's like true. being cute. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of ice cream. Speaking of ice cream, like. If you also can't go on a date at all and can't spend much for uh, like, and if like you're already both full, you already had, because I'm assuming that you know being with like being a kid with a busy schedule, 
especially you're a college student, mm -hmm. eventually you're gonna be already eating at home. So, I mean, if the family is okay with visitors, why not just buy ice cream, a tub of ice cream, and then go to the person's house and then, you know, have at it mm -hmm. with ice cream. Mm -hmm. And again, I think the general rule to this, don't, don't push your wallet and you just to stay within your means. If kana ra ang budget sa imong yatag sa imong family, then so be it. And obviously, if the girl likes you, or the guy likes you, they wouldn't really care. It's not gonna matter. Mm, yeah, it's not gonna matter. So ano na lang. I I think that 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 as a student, a student paman mo. Well, the students out there, study first. But if you have if you if you want to go on a date, totally understand. So totally understandable. You know. You can't, you can't, you can't stop that shit. <laughs> That's right, guys. It's cool. <laughs> okay, it's cool. just, it's just right. be knowledgeable, okay? Okay, and if that person, whether it's a guy, a dude, or a girl, or, or, uh, anyone, you know, even if that person forces you to spend way beyond your means, especially a useless student, dude, just, just drop that. <laughs> Yeah, and it probably wasn't like, I mean, I'm I've been hearing stories of some of my friends being forced to go on dates, and I think that's that's the biggest red flag you can get from anyone. Mm -hmm. I it, mean, like, there's always there's always that longing, but mm -hmm. like, to to say to someone that, for example, not much of that. There's like this corny stuff, and people will say, "Oh, you don't love me anymore because you're not you, bringing you me on dates." Me on <laughs> yeah, diba? that's the childish stuff that should be a red flag to you by now. I think it has to be clear. Mm. I mean, th this whole dating scene that we have in the Philippines is just so outdated. Mm -mm. We don't normalize. We don't normalize that people can have multiple dates mm -mm. or serial date. That's the word. That's a, that's a term, serial date. Mm -mm. And then we also don't recognize that. Some things, some, some relationships just really don't work out. And saying that you're just gonna try and force yourself to it is just going to make things worse. Mm -hmm, definitely. You know, and I guess it just goes with clear communication. Long. And we're just dealing here with the food, uh, the food spectrum on dating. But there's a lot of ways for you to go on a date. Study dates. You go on... Um, um, some, uh, you go, let's just say, hang out in the park. You work out together. Dude, there's a lot of things that you could take. It's not just food. Okay, you go. Or at home. You go. Oh, go at home. Oh. Or you go to Abeliano. You pay 30 pesos. You work out together. <laughs> no, Wait, that's, that, yeah. that is an option I would never do in a million years. <laughs> I would never. Why would I pay 30 pesos just to sweat in front of the person I care for the most? <laughs> Why would I do maybe that? maybe one well, she's into kind of workouts exercise we, we don't know but kind of, we're just dealing with the food because that's the main topic of it okay but okay in our last section I this is more of a shotgun round so just tell right, me right. on top of your head one the um, the meal or the dish that on, that you have on top of your head okay, that was redundant anyways you ready yeah okay so okay Favorite breakfast meal? Burgers. Just be specific. No one. Um, burger joint burgers. Burger like, joint burgers. Okay. American style burgers, man. Okay. All time favorite dessert. Uh, ice cream. Specific. Vanilla. Vanilla. Van like, vanilla mm -hmm. Chocolate. Like vanilla ice cream in general. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. Um, go to meal. Um, if you broke, Shin Ramyun. Oh. <laughs> okay, now um, the worst um, meal that you had. Cold noodles. Like specifically, like a any cold noodles, along. Yeah, because there's like there's this specific Korean noodles oh. where it's, <laughs> it's cold. yeah yeah so like, I forgot what it's called it's called it's really cold noodles. Uh -oh. like literally noodles drenched in ice <laughs> okay okay now um favorite um uh, drink Gatorade Gatorade okay um go to restaurant 
um, ba- the bada the bada the bada oh that's good um um the last meal that you had diarrhea um donuts unsa donuts dunkin donuts dunkin donuts dunkin yeah. donuts bavarian bavarian you had diarrhea oh. yeah oh. <laughs> okay favorite cuisine uh definitely japanese japanese yeah. if there's a cuisine that you want to try but you haven't tried what would what would it be persian Persian. Persian. Okay. Now, um, if you could have any meal right now, anything in this world, what would it be right now? I would have kimchi fried rice. Oh, dude. Same. Kimchi yeah. fried rice. Yeah. Kimchi, kimchi fried, fried rice, rice with the spam, bomb. with eggs. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh. We have that in Prince, to be fair. That's so good. Sa Coffee Prince. Oh, Coffee Prince. Oh. It's good. Good tank. Good All tank. Right. And that's about an hour, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. Well, <laughs> anything oh, else? Man. Any shout outs that you want to say? Anything that you want to say before we go? Uh, shout out to the guys at United Young Leaders Coalition Incorporated. Congrats, guys. We finally got SEC registered. Um, also, a uh, big shout out to Design Youth Matters. Uh, we are now we are now going uh, the entire the whole Visayas region. We're finally launching our premier mental health program. And a uh, big shout out to Unilab Foundation for giving us a care package. And thank you, thanks Sid for having me in this wonderful podcast. And uh, Yeah, see you around, man. See you mm-hmm. around. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you.